Becky, just go ahead, uh, give us your thoughts on the match against San Diego. Um, all, a lot of credit to San Diego. I think they're very good at what they do. And even though we knew what they were going to do, they still um, got that second goal on us. Um, so it's, it's absolutely, it's tough to win games when you're letting goals in. Um, but I thought our response was really positive. I thought we fought uh, very hard after their first goal and even after their second goal. I don't think heads went down. So I'm proud of the way that we stayed into the match. I'm proud of our behaviors. I think everyone was still very positive and pushing um, and, and believing that we could get back into it. And we just didn't have the magic tonight. Hi, Becky. Um, on, on a different note than the game itself, 150 NWSL appearances for you. Um, how does that feel for you personally to, to achieve that? I uh, really had no idea. I think Weaver at halftime was like, congratulations. And I'm like, what? And she's like, 115. I was like, oh, that's cool. Um, I wish that 150 could also be commemorated with the win. Um, but 150 in this league, um, I'm proud of. Um, I've played on some great teams, and I've met some great people, and played in 150 games. And that's 150 great experiences for me. So very happy about that. And, and with this game, um, do you think a lot of this was a product of tired legs after such a busy August, or, or what would you attribute some of the challenges that, that you all had? I think physically, most of us actually felt pretty good. Um, I think, you know, we have great medical and performance staff, and they got us to recover and, you know, the massages and the flushes and all those things um, right after the game in North Carolina. And so I actually think physically we were in a decent spot. I think, sure, there's accumulation of there was a tough August, um, but I think we were up for this game. And uh, someone that, that stood out to me was, was Taylor Korniak as, as someone that might be a difficult player to defend. Uh, yeah. How would you describe the difficulty in defending someone of, of her caliber? Yeah, I mean, she's, she's gifted um, in the air, and it's not just her height. It's also her commitment to winning those balls. Um, she's also got great feet, and she can play really good balls. So she's you know a pretty well-rounded player. Um, and so going into the game, we kind of knew, you know, how do we defend someone that that that's tall, that gifted. Um, and we knew she was going to flick the ball on to Alex. We knew all those things were going to happen. And um, she's just very good at what she does. And the team is very good about working around her when she does those things. Um, and so, yeah, she's just one of those special players that you really have to often um, do things special to deal with her. What do you think it says about the parity of this league that an expansion team like San Diego can come in first year and now be in the lead for the NWSL Shield? Yeah, I mean, this league is wild. I think on any given day, any team can win, and I don't know where else you can say that that's possible. Um, and so I think it's great that expansion sides can come in. Um, obviously, San Diego seems to have done it very well. They've gotten some great players, great coaching staff, um, just great setup. And so it's, it's good to see expansion teams do well. Um, obviously, I want the more established teams like the Portland Thorns to also do very well, and we are. Um, but it's just great for the league. It just, it just goes to show that if you put the right people in place, the right things in place, you invest, you'll get, you're going to get a good product on the field. All good, Paloma? All good. Thank you. Thanks, buddy. Yeah.